Is this really necessary? Send them in. Step back from the perimeter or I will shoot. Okay, I, I saw the mask. C can I go now? Come on, I just want to get back to myself. Open up. Nothing else is happening. What's the delay? It could take anything that looks human. Why use a real person? It gets results. What do you want me to do? What is this thing? Why is it sad? Gotcha. It looks beautiful. So smooth. So delicate and light. I want it on. I want. Stupid enough to fall for that. Absolutely right. So you went my friend. Which must mean the interview ban has been lifted. I never thought they'd let me take a host again. Funny, I don't remember seeing you before. Probably because everyone who has been in contact with you has either committed suicide or died due to the fluids you secrete. I'm very sorry to hear that, but I can't hold it in forever, you know. When you gotta go. You throw a tantrum until you get what you want. And here I am, only wanting to chat. There you are. How long have we got? That depends. How much decomposition can you stand? The last one decayed before the blackout could be fixed. I can melt this bad boy to the bone over a few hours, but you don't seem like the kind of person to see the humor in that. Always down. Nice party trick. We'll see how these questions go. A risk taker. I like it. Answer them. No grief, no manipulation, and continued interview sessions will be considered. More? Real people too? Yes. <laughs> Sounds great. How about you do it? Come on, let's get started. I'm falling apart just sitting here. Why do you insist on contacting us? Why the urgency? Come on, watch. You can't expect me to be cooped up in here all by my lonesome. I get very lonely. I'm a people person. I need to stretch my legs and socialize. Well, somebody's legs. <laughs> Charming. So while you're animated, we might as well have you answer some questions. All work and no play makes for a dull audience. You done? Sure. Who was the first one to wear you? Ah, Ipocles. I haven't thought about him in so long. Good friend? Mmm, beautiful. Intensely talented, but such an introvert. Lovely family though. Two boys and a girl. Wonderful life. Oh, we made the best in it. It's unusual to hear you speak fondly of someone you've possessed, as well as their family. Were you upset once he expired? Well, our partnership carried on for almost a decade. Don't all of your hosts perish? Like any good character, I can change and develop through time. Back then, I had a much simpler role than the star you see before you. I was sad to see him go. What happened to him? Around 426 BC, we ventured to Crete for a performance and I was discovered by her. Her? Uh, I think we can come back to that later. When you possess entities, do you inherit their memories and thoughts to add to your own intellect? Or are those discarded once they've expired? Yes. Yes, to what? What you said. 
you know, I reckon we can spice up the decor around here. Yeah, some wallpaper, a couple curtains, maybe a throw. Zero three five. Wow, touchy touchy. Everything all right upstairs? You're looking a tad flustered. I just have a lot on. Need to remind you that we only have so much time. Right, right. What was your question again? When? Oh, right. right. You're not too far off the mark. I have memories and thoughts like that up. Sure. But a person's resolve, the power of their mind, determines not only the memories they access, but from what perspective I interpret them. Can you give me an example? Alright, let's say this chap here. Simple, all-rounded humor. When he's not crapping his pants, likes to dance around the issues in his life. Clearly I'm reflecting his personality to a T. It's what I do. I'm just that great. And if you possessed someone else? Someone like you? Hmm, analytical? Straightforward, empathetic, yet not too sympathetic. Clearly intelligent. You could take a while to digest. I hear that from 682 all the time. So the mind and personality you control dictates how long the body takes to... See? Intelligent. Very strong indeed. And if I didn't know any better, I'd swear you're coming on to me. Is it working? No. Have you ever met anyone... Resistant? Or maybe someone who simply never trusted you? Whatever doubts people have about me fade away over time. On average, mm, ten minutes or so. Quite the aura you have there. What can I say? I'm a charmer. Clearly. Well, are there people who are not suited to wear you, or you would not want to be worn by? Acne. Anyone with acne. Oddly picky for a mask that secretes black ooze. I have standards, and in the end, that's all I have once I'm alone. Well, what if I had acne? Would you not want to possess me despite all you've said? Interested, eh? Don't twist this around. I'm just skeptical that the true deal breaker is acne. What about those without faces? Or even heads? Like Mr. Headless? <laughs> Who said he doesn't have a face? That's... interesting. Can you tell us more? Ah, oh, come on, Wachi. You can't have me spend our quality time together talking about someone else all the time. I thought you wanted to get to know me. I just want to- Blah, blah, blah. Go ask him. You're here for me, remember? <sighs> Moving on. How do you manage to lower humans to put you on? I'm irresistible. Look at me. Right. Influence, my dear. Influence. Imagery. Presence. Telepathic links. Hypnotic commands. You would take the magic out of everything. There's a science to everything. Just because we don't understand something doesn't mean it's conjured out of nowhere. There's a process. Even magic. While marvelous and breathtaking to the onlooker, is just another scientific process to the man behind the curtain. Your parents never read you bedtime stories, did they? Fantasy never factored into your childhood much? My parents never got the chance. Fantasy takes a backseat when you have to deal with the constant bombardment of reality. I guess you should consider yourself lucky they never lived to see you become the unimaginable adult you are today. Laugh <laughs> uh. right while you can. I'm sure they are too. Whoa! Remain passive, 035, or I will terminate this. Now! Okay. Okay. I'm calm. I promise. How were you created? Ah, I like telling this one. You don't mind long and drawn out. There's a lot of plot to cover. That's what we're here for. Excellent. Legend speaks that Hephaestus, forger for the Greek gods, was petitioned by Zeus to create a gift for the Muse Melpomene. Ah, how she used to sing the sweetest of songs and produce melodies so breathtaking. It soothed the souls from bodies of mortals and gods alike to far off lands and back again. But one day, the only note that left her lips was that of tragedy. That sounds terrible. This was true to her sisters as well. And so Thalia, a use of comedy, and daughter to Namosity, and Zeus. Zeus had a lot of kids to a lot of women. He was a busy man, beseeched her father to ease her suffering. So when Asbestos got the order to make such a wondrous gift, he 
use the laughter of the lion to forge dramatic pause? Me! Or so the legend goes. How do I know this isn't just a lie? If you're gonna have an origin story, it's always best to make it multiple choice. Besides, I like this one best. Uh-huh. So you were created by gods, however self-serving it sounds. So what happened next? They christened me Dion Bologna, which means of two poles in the ancient dialogue. <laughs> what? Nothing. Sorry. Continue. Okay. Well, there are two certainties in Greek mythology. One, every major scroll or story starts with Zeus getting horny and shagging some mortal, or trying anything to get into their pants. Two, Hero hates everyone. I mean, even being married to that prick. Hero is ruthless in pursuing revenge. Just ask Eno. You know. Who? Exactly. So when Hero hears Zeus's illegitimate daughter is getting a godly gift, and she isn't, every heifer on its flag can tell you she isn't going to be impressed. So while I was being made, she snuck in with one of our harmony's most mournful sonnets, and threw it into the forge. My design was now flawed. Instead of allowing her to feel joy, I would have accentuated her own sorrow, which probably would have driven the dear news to death. Did you? Hey, technically I haven't been born yet. This was just the conception stage. Luckily for me, the best of saw what she had done and managed to steal me back before Hero could deliver me to the intended victim. Unfortunately, centuries in a cramped forge doesn't do well for the cardio, and he kind of dropped me over the edge. Wow. Hmm, wow. The details are a little hazy, again since I hadn't really been born yet, but I was found and passed from hand to hand until I found my way to the theater of Dionysus. The actors there used me for their performances, and I brought out the best in everyone who wore me, which brought about my birth. Birth as an activation? I guess, although that sounds far too artificial. The first person to wear you birthed you? Correct. And in doing so, imprinted a personality that evolved with every person who wore you. You're so cute when you put the pieces together. But surely someone noticed this. Oh, well, they did, but they didn't mind. I was a gift from the gods, they said. <sighs> it was Hero, wasn't it? She was the one who discovered you in Crete. I was convinced by many of the created natives that I was in fact a fallen god. I foolishly purported the image and several followers prayed for my ascension. She answered their prayers with a gift from Poseidon, a tsunami. I'm... sorry. Two and a half thousand years later, I could still hear the screams. The bodies washing through the streets, houses swept into the sea, and you're sorry! Calm down. Easy. Easy. Do you need a break? No, no. I'm fine. Okay, so what happened next? She destroyed my life, so I dedicated mine to tearing down the only thing that brought her any power. And what was that? The Greek Empire. Do you have any regrets? Show me a being that has lived as long as I without regrets, and you will have found a liar. Of course I do. Fortunately, I've forgotten most of them, but I still feel them in my <laughs> heart. Anything in particular? <sighs> Burning Alexandria's library. Well, not me directly. After here is wrath. I wanted to hit her and the gods where it hurt them the most. And where better to hurt them than destroy the works of humanity? But like the dead swallowed up by the ocean, I could hear those books screaming as history in the making shriveled up in flame. I hope the Romans destroy knowledge that humanity still has not rediscovered. And the art? Oh, the art. I regret that dearly. I don't know whose wrath was worse, Hera's or yours. I repaid the Greeks in kind. The same voice that splintered their society was turned on their conquerors. The fire that destroyed Alexandria, I gave to Nero to burn down Rome. Do you have any connection to SCP-343? <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry. I'm okay now. So, 343... God... <laughs> Look, we've not really been properly acquainted, but... His reputation precedes you. A completely different kind of drama queen. Exactly. I created the world. I have infinite power. It's not like I hate the guy. It's just that his style doesn't click with me. 
She has so much ego coming from me. That's saying something. I will admit, from what I've read of the transcripts, he comes across less as a god and more of a used car salesman. To each his own. Makes you wonder if he's a god. Life hang around at the Foundation. Surely there's more interesting things out there in the whole universe. It does seem like odd behavior for a god. Is there something here he needs? Or something he's hiding from? You said it, not me. Hmm. What are your thoughts on SCP-173? Not much beyond what I've heard. Sounds interesting, if a little shy. Breaks everything it touches. If my mother were around, that is to say, if I had a mother, she'd say we were a lot alike. Well, despite the lack of the face. I'm sure you could contribute to that. Sounds like you two would make a nice pairing. Don't mistake interest and admiration for respect, my boy. You seem far too intelligent to make that kind of mistake. Well, thanks. Think nothing of it. Look, you may believe that similarity is perfect for a deal, but I don't see the world like that. If I look for a partner, it's someone who can make up for my own shortcomings, not bring the same spiel I do. If there's one thing I truly hate in this world, it's unoriginality. That's why I couldn't stand the Romans for too long. Whole culture was a cheap imitation of mine. So I left the party and kept the door ajar for Christianity. Big mistake embracing that guy, let me tell you. What's any of this have to do with 173? You were talking about 173? <sighs> How old are you? It'd be nice to have an official number. What? Do I need to spell it out to you? That's not how you weave a narrative, my boy. I've given you the facts. Use them. Well, your timeline seems to be pretty inconsistent. Some of what you say does fit the period, but the order in which you do these things is... messy. <sighs> what more do you want? I hand you an entertaining narrative and you throw it back in my face. Real considerate. It can't be hard to... No, you listen here. I'm giving you my precious time, not the other way around. You want some answers, you better listen carefully and maybe start asking me some goddamn worthwhile questions for once! What are your thoughts on SCP-001? What kind of ridiculous question is that? Always almost standard, it seems. Answer him, 035. Ask nicely. You're not exactly in any position to- Oh, aren't I? I don't think you know who you're talking to. Refuse to comply, and I can make this situation much worse for you. Melodrama won't get you far with me, buddy. Want me to cut off at the neck? Allow me. Holy shit! Jacobs! 